I woke up in the hospital not understanding what had happened or how I'd gotten there or did I get in a car accident? Did, you know, was I kidnapped? I, I didn't know what had happened. Tess was pregnant with her third son, Tommy, when she came down with the flu. And just days would go on and on and I just wasn't getting better and it was, it, it ended up turning into pneumonia and then within a, a day or two it became septic and I started going into lung failure because of that. And because her body was starting to shut down, she went into premature labor. They ended up putting me under anesthesia and intubating me because my blood oxygen was so low um, and they delivered the baby while I was sedated and then it would be several weeks before I would actually breathe on my own or come out of sedation. Tess was put into an induced coma with life support for about three weeks. And when she eventually came out of sedation, she didn't know what had happened. And so I was laying in this bed, like, okay, I still have a bump, so I'm still pregnant, everything's okay. And then she told me that my baby was not in me anymore. And it was very stressful and confusing. And I remember having these feelings of like almost like blackout like when people would try to talk to me about it I would start knocking cups over and like I, I don't want to hear it I can't I can't process what you're telling me and in all this time she hadn't held her newborn yet we're seeing the baby for the first time it was a really kind of kind of a devastating moment. The recording shows that it's so, so sweet and it's so poignant and it is. But what was going through me at that point was just this devastation that I had lost so much time with him and um, things just really didn't go how, how birth should go, you know. So holding him was this really joyful reunion that I had been waiting for for, for weeks and, and hoping for, but it really was not the meeting that I had wanted. Tess told us because she couldn't talk and smelled like hospital, she was worried their bond would be permanently stunted, but said something magical happened when she held Tommy and her recovery was rapid after that. She was able to go home the next day. You. I'm so happy to see you. Okay. Can you blow, uh... I'm not going to drink it. That's awesome. Okay. Can you baby's first food? It's good. Yeah. Yeah. And after overcoming some post-traumatic stress, she's had no lasting health problems after her illness. Uh-oh. 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 Gotcha! <laughs> And her and Tommy's bond is unbreakable now, too. Even when things don't go the way that you expect them to or hope that they will, um, you can still be really happy and you can still get the happy ending you want, even if the avenue you take to get there isn't what you thought it would be.